morning, guys. It is a Sunday in Geneva, Switzerland. I'm going to a workout class this morning because my sleep schedule has been pretty bad lately. I thought I would take you guys through kind of a typical, more chill day in my life. I found this class through ClassPass because it's international, which I love. So like whenever I'm in Europe or the UK or Australia, I can still use it to book workout classes and most of the time they're in English. I was at Loki, the hardest workout class I've ever done. I was like, oh cute, a little yoga studio in Switzerland. No, that was literally core power sculpt on crack. So now I do my reading, my morning pages, and my planner. So the book that I'm reading right now is called The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. And I actually read this for the first time a few years ago. My mom had given me the 25th anniversary edition. This is the 30th. Basically, the purpose of the book is discovering and recovering your creative self. So the first time that I read it, I was still working in corporate, and I was doing nothing creative for myself. I was working in like media and social media and PR. So I was being creative for the corporations that I was working for, but in no way was I being creative for myself. I wasn't making content. I wasn't writing. I wasn't making videos. If you are any type of writer, creative, artist, movie maker, or if you aren't doing any of those things, but you know that as a kid or when you were in high school, you were super creative and you've just lost that sense of creativity within yourself, I think this is a very, very good book to read. But what I wanted to talk about this morning is morning pages, which you might have heard of before. Basically, it's just a type of journaling. I usually do this actually first thing when I wake up in the morning, like literally hop out of bed and come do it. But for the sake of this video, because I wanted to kind of explain it, I just... I'm gonna do it now. How Julia Cameron explains this is every morning, set your clock one half hour early, get up and write three pages of longhand stream of consciousness morning writing. Do not reread these pages or allow anyone else to read them. Most days I wake up anxious. I wake up and immediately something infiltrates my mind of like what I'm gonna be stressed about that day. I'm just an anxious person. I've always been like that and I find with morning pages and doing a stream of consciousness writing, it doesn't have to make any sense. It doesn't have to be a to-do list. It doesn't have to be a diary. It can literally be anything that's going into your mind at the time. A lot of times for me, because I have extremely, extremely movie-like vivid dreams, I tend to like kind of write down my dreams, think about how they made me feel, think about how they might be relating to my life. Sometimes if I have a busy day, I will write out like what I have to do that day. If I wake up and feel like I wanna make a bunch of content, then I'll write out different content ideas. It honestly can be absolutely anything. The only rule is you have to fill three whole pages. Sometimes it does take me a while because I have like very small like baby handwriting, but I've always really struggled to stay consistent with journaling. I feel like the only time that I would journal before I started to do this is when I was feeling like very overwhelmed or very anxious and felt like I just had to get all of my stresses out on a piece of paper. But I feel like if you wait to do the right things until you're in that like, I have to do something, I have to do something, I'm not feeling good, I need to go on a run, I need to journal, it's kind of a little bit counteractive. You should be doing those things while you're feeling good so that you kind of have a better like preparation system. There's also a lot of affirmations in the book and it's kind of a workbook too, so I'm not this far yet, but there's a bunch of pages where you fill in things, which kind of feels like homework to me, which is fun. One of my favorite quotes in the book is, it is audacity, not talent, that moves the artist to center stage. And basically how I view that is there are a lot of people out there doing exactly what you want to do, doing your dreams that are way less talented than you or do not have the creativity that you have. But fortune favors the bold. 
and they decided to do it. I think I'm realizing that that's just the way the world works. Okay, I'm actually curious how long this takes me, so I'm going to set a timer. Okay, 30 minutes and 20 seconds. I feel like that's usually what it's around, like 25 to 30 minutes for me. Honestly, after I do it, I just feel so much more clear-headed just getting everything out onto paper. I feel like a lot of times I just write down kind of what I'm stressed about or worried about and it gets it out of my head and onto the paper and then I don't have to think about it as much. Okay, so next is my planner. I use a digital planner on my iPad and honestly, you guys, my iPad is like my pride and joy. So this is the cover for the month of May. I use the app Good Notes, and the planner that I use is from, I think it's called Flourish Planner. I'll link it down below. I'm gonna fill this out for tomorrow because tomorrow's Monday, kind of at the start of the week and it's Sunday today, so I'm not really doing anything. I have work to-do list, personal to-do list, um, any like notes and stuff for the day, and then I'll kind of write out my schedule for the day, especially because my schedule is so messed up with all the travel and I'm not working on like a nine to five. I need structure in my life. My Mercury is in Virgo, so I'm very organized. And if I don't have a plan laid out. When I wake up in the morning, I'm just so scattered brained that I get so stressed out that I just don't do anything. This is tomorrow. This is obviously kind of just a rough outline. There's like lots of little things, but this is kind of the big stuff for the day. So that's usually my morning. I'm gonna go on my walk now. I found a coffee shop that's open right across the bridge from where we're staying at. When I said everything in Europe is closed on Sundays, so this is the city center of Geneva. There were hundreds of people on these streets yesterday shopping. Basically a ghost town now. I have never been the type of person that did not enjoy doing things alone. When I was 13, I begged my mom for a city bus card so that I could take the city bus to the Rosedale Mall to go to the AMC to watch the movies alone. And the summer that I was 13, every single Tuesday morning, I would take the city bus by myself and I would go watch a movie alone. I still go to the movies alone. I just go to I pick in LA now. It's one of my favorite things ever. I've never been the type to feel like I need to wait for someone to do the things with me that I want to do. Even traveling now, I go out to eat by myself, museums by myself, cooking classes by myself. When I'm on tour, in a way, it sort of feels like I'm solo traveling. And yes, of course, I could wait until Taylor is done with practice. But I feel like there really is a piece in learning to love spending time by yourself and doing things on your own and also I feel like it definitely builds up a lot of confidence and I know a lot of people are not naturally like that and it can be extremely stressful and extremely nerve-wracking but honestly just starting small going to a workout class by yourself taking yourself to lunch going to the movies by yourself and if you're worried about people staring at you or being embarrassed to be seen in public by yourself I promise you no one's looking at you Look at those people. They're not even looking at me. They don't care. No one gives a crap what you're doing and I truly mean that in the nicest way possible. I promise you, once you get over the hurdle of the nervousness and the fear, being able to go out and do things on your own brings you such a sense of peace and confidence. that Julia Cameron tells you to do in the artist way besides morning pages is something called an artist date. She recommends that you take two hours out of your week every single week and take yourself on basically like a creative field trip, whether that's a walk outside or a museum or today I'm at the botanical gardens of Geneva. Honestly, I take myself on artist dates like five times a week, but this is mine today. <laughs> My favorite animal is a goat and I accidentally just stumbled upon a field of goats. It's the best day of my life. Okay, that's a sheep, but there are also goats in here. Bye.
I thought that I ordered a burrito. I did not. I'm going to eat this and then I'm gonna go to the courts to see you, Taylor. I just had a little outfit change and I'm gonna go to the courts. I haven't been to them yet, but Taylor wanted me to go watch his practice. Thought I would go support him. This whole place looks like a fairy tale. <laughs> wow, look at those trees, they're Very huge. Nice. Riddle. Riddle, R I D D L E. Sorry, um, riddle like a joke. I'm not saying, I'm literally saying we can go to Black Tab and get burgers and shakes. Don't say that in front of Mike. Sorry, Mike. Taylor says I have a gift from Rolex. Yeah, they said they. Uh, they, they said here, this is for your. They gave they gave me a thing, and they said this for your girlfriend. It's my nails. It's my nails. No, no, I got it. Kind of like branded Rolex. They have a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, look at this. I got cashmere. I got. Yeah, I got Rolex. I got chocolates. You got chocolates? Yeah. <laughs> Should we try them? I mean, I kind of wanted to say. Oh, them look for at Rolex. that. That's I got, sick. Like a travel thing for your passport, because like, oh. no one's gonna. No one's gonna. Sense. What is this? That's uh, from the golf course today. Oh. We're just gonna unbox everything now. <laughs> what do you have in your pockets? Pocket unboxing. Who box my laundry? Um. Right. <laughs> I just like pulled my laundry up and the smell hit me. What? I just like pulled my laundry up. And then, like, I pushed the bag down, the air came back with it. <laughs> it smells bad? Got kind of sweaty and it's been sitting in a bag for like five days, yeah. Ew. It wasn't a vlog of mine unless you were shirtless in it. <laughs> Taylor thinks I'm saying black top. I'm saying black tap. Okay, well, you're gaslighting me. You're fucking gaslighting me. Gaslighting. Yeah, you're gaslighting me. <laughs> Why'd you do that? What? Why'd you flip me off? Because you flipped me off. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> huh? The chicken's <laughs>